God, do you wonders in your body, wonders in your mind, wonders in your family. God still works wonders. He still sets the captive free. Praise the Lord today. Friend, today Jesus Christ is calling out to you today. And the call of God to you today is that you repent of your sins, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and be born again of the Spirit of God. Some people today here, you're compulsive liars. Some are thieves. Some are adulterers. Some can't stop masturbating, obviously. This fella here, he's making all the signals. That's a common problem, sir. But if you come to Jesus, he'll deliver you. He said, if your hand causes you to offend, cut it off. If your eye causes you to offend, pluck it out. He said that in the context of sexual sins. And so, friend, there's delivering power even from that sin. Yes, God can set you free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Listen, we don't need Buddha. We need the Lion of Judah. We don't need Islam. We need the great I Am. We need the Son of God, the one who said before Abraham was, I Am. Jesus Christ, the God of heaven who came, put on human flesh and stood among men. Why on earth did he come? I'll tell you why he came. He came to save us from our sins. He came to deliver us from the corruption, moral and spiritual corruption that is inside every heart. I've got four kids and I can tell you I didn't need to teach any one of them how to tell lies or how to be naughty. It came built in. They did it instinctively because they're born in sin like you are and like I am. We're born with our backs toward God. We're not born good people. We're born rebels. We're born sinners. And thank God Jesus said through me you can be born again. That's what he said to Nicodemus, that proud religious Pharisee. Jesus said you must be born again. Again. I'm going today, friend. You can be born again, born of the Spirit, born from above. If you look up to Jesus Christ, all you've got to do is look to Him. Jesus said, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. Friends, Moses in the wilderness lifted up the serpent. And all the people who had been bitten by the serpent, they looked to the bronze replica of a serpent and they were healed. And so, friends, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, the cross of Christ, Calvary, where the Son of God was nailed to the tree, where the blood ran down his head, I and his face. The ghost. Him and the wrath of God was poured out upon him for you and I. If you will look to Calvary, then God said he will heal you of your sin. God said he would cure you on the inside. God said he would change you deep down within. God said something else wonderful. He said he would forgive you. Do you know that's one thing that we really need, ladies? You can get your nails done and your hair done. Yeah, that's good. Get a new dress. Yes, these are all good things. But one thing people need is forgiveness. People have done horrendous and awful things when they were young, middle aged. Sometimes you stay awake at night, you remember what you've done and your guilt and your shame, you can't get rid of. But friend, Jesus Christ, through his precious blood, can purge your conscience. All your guilt and all your shame can be washed away in Jesus' name. The Lord's calling again today in Belfast. Because Belfast is going to hell fast, God's telling us to do a U-turn, to turn around, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Whether you're a Catholic or a prod, look back to God. Turn around, stop heading in to darkness, stop going along with the flu when you know it's not right. God's looking to translate you today because he's given trans rights to every person in Belfast. You have oh, yeah. the right to transition out of darkness. Yes, sir. Bless your heart. Thank you very much. I wish there was more like you ever got. Thank you very much. Well, Thank, you. Well, Thank, you. Well, Thank, you. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Well, when I saw the flag, I thought it was the rainbow flag. I thought, here we go. Belfast. Welcome in. Welcome. That's the usual. He's been doing this for like 20, 20, 20. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
doesn't matter, up, sir, you if you're Buddhist Thank you. or Muslim. Yeah. doesn't matter if you're Someone Hindu or Greek. All the time. Look up to the exactly. Lord in the end of God's calling it Exactly. Home. Unfortunately, Jesus is the only way. Jesus said this, and I'm going to be arrested, as you know, but we don't have the same laws. If he said what he says, if he said any of this, and I'm going to be arrested, but we don't have the same laws here, so... Right, we live in Birmingham. Yeah. Well, we came along, there was these people, not many of them, the Jehovah.